You're watching Home Day, everyone. Throughout the year, we've been following Mike Lawrence's major renovation of a 100-year-old home, which needed to be basically rebuilt from the inside out. Well, after a lot of hard work, the reno is finally complete, which is amazing. So Mike is joining us now to show us the grand reveal. And Mike, let's start by catching everyone up on a few background details about this property and what you were working with, because it was a project. Oh, absolutely, Tracy. You know, there's actually quite an interesting backstory. And one of our favorite clients actually lives next door. And when this house came up for sale, because we built her place several years ago, she bought it in anticipation of one of her children needing a place to live. So he's moved into this upper suite, and another family member will be soon to take over the other one. Now, um, because we've basically created a downtown uh, family you know, compound here, we've uh, decided to put in a saltwater pool. And we've just begun that today, and that'll be ready in the spring. Now, there's one problem with all of this. Uh, the house is so great, the kids are never gonna leave. I have a couple, I have many questions. First of all, is this family <laughs> adopting adult women? Because I would love for them to buy me a place. But this is a beautiful, like what a beautiful thing. We keep talking about how the kids are gonna grow up, they won't be able to afford a house. Well, why don't we just make them one? This is beautiful. Now, one That's of the right. big- Great one of solutions. The, <laughs> great solution. One of the big issues, the huge issues in this place was the basement suite. And you say this was like, there was, there was a bit of a rat infestation. There was a lot happening there. So talk to us about that space and what you did. Sure, it was a huge amount of work in that lower level and nothing could be retained at all. So we completely gutted it to the stone foundation. But it was also very low ceilings. So we did a massive underpin to have eight foot ceilings through probably some of the hardest clay we've ever dug in. Um, we added radiant floor heating throughout and because we rebuilt all these floor platforms in the house, um, there's no interior load-bearing walls. So we were able to lay out those rooms and that space in that lower level however we chose with no load-bearing walls. So it's a very high open space, which is you know, not very common in a lower suite. Okay, well you got the job done and not only did you get the job done, you made it very high energy efficient. So talk to me about the focal points there. Well, the original house had one small old boiler in the basement that fed a bunch of rusty rads that barely functioned. So with the two self-contained suites, uh, we created two separate mechanical rooms, one for each, and um, just a massive overhaul of all things in this space. So what we were able to do was we added a tankless hot water system, high efficiency furnace, heat recovery ventilator. Um, it's all new plumbing mechanical throughout, but we also spray foam from under the slab all the way to the rafters. And then all the windows, all the doors are our highly efficient systems that have been replaced and upgraded. So the house is very airtight, very energy efficient. Very good. Okay, can we talk a little bit about the bathrooms? Uh, because you were able to get in there and make them a lot lighter and airier than they were before. Absolutely. One's conveniently located right here. <laughs> and um, the bathrooms were not livable before. They were just awful. Uh, so we've tried to incorporate large windows, um, uh, for use of frameless glass. And you can look out the window and see all the little squirrels squirreling about, which is really kind of nice. <laughs> okay, we got to talk about that kitchen. You're in that kitchen uh, where the children will cook. This went uh, through a major renovation. Talk to us about some of the uh, switches you made in that space. Each suite has a beautiful set of millwork. Um, and it's actually 40 feet of millwork from one end all the way to the other end on each level and it's floor to ceiling, tons of storage, tons of drawers. We have uh, built-in media centers, desk areas, lots of storage. It spans right across the dining area into the living section. And that's just a great way to utilize the space in a narrow home to have that kind of functionality with that built-in millwork has made a, an incredible difference. Now you also have the luxury of doing sort of 
ceiling to floor cabinetry when you're doing a reno now because a lot of houses didn't used to have that would you say it's worth it for most people to think about putting the cabinetry all the way up to the ceiling depends how tall they are <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I i personally like it um, because it looks very custom and built in. Um, some people choose to have a prefabricated 30 inch upper cabinet and it has a gap above. I find those gaps to be dust collectors. Mm -hmm. I do like it when we're building because the ceilings are so level and flat, the gaps and reveals are so perfect that when it is floor to ceiling, it just looks better. And Mike, is that all custom? Is all that millwork custom? Absolutely. All the, the, the Caesar stone counters, all the pools, the layout, it was all designed by a wonderful architect and we executed it with a local kitchen company. Are we impressed with this audience? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're all giving you big check marks because listen, I've got, I've got cabinetry all the way up to the ceiling, but it's actually big box. Like it, 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 it's a custom installation, but it's a big box cabinetry. So going custom all the way is phenomenal because you can really get what you need. Mike, thank you very much. Absolutely, Tracy. Pleasure. Congratulations, the final product. So we can't wait to follow along on his next project. It's time for a break. See you all on the other side. Stay with us.